Hello everyone, it's Jessica again. So in this video we're going to be talking about some of the signs and symptoms of COVID and uh, how they'll be affected because there are some more common signs and symptoms and there are less common signs and symptoms. There are also some more serious signs and symptoms and there are also less serious symptoms. So uh, because I don't want to give you any false information, I am using cue cards. So if you do see me glancing off to the side, you'll know that I'm just looking at my information. And I'm simply doing that because like I said, I don't want to give you any false information. I'd rather give you factual information that we've gathered through research. So we're going to start off with some of the common symptoms of COVID. So these will be your fever, your cough, your fatigue, and your loss of taste and smell. Now, not everyone will experience these, but it seems that a lot of people seem to be losing their taste and their smell. And because it is very, very um, much associated with COVID, as soon as you lose your taste and your smell, it's very likely that you have COVID. So those are the very common symptoms. So then the less common symptoms that we have will be a sore throat, a headache, aches and pains, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, skin rash, discolored fingers and toes, uh, red irritated eyes, and even a runny nose or nasal congestion. So it is not necessarily that you won't have any mucus because everyone speaks about COVID as if you, you don't have mucus, it's a dry um, flu, so you won't cough up phlegm and you won't have a runny nose. And that's unfortunately just not the case. And this is why it is so difficult to distinguish it from a common flu without testing, because they have so many similar symptoms. Now, these symptoms are, are all irrelevant if you have very serious symptoms. Now, this is where it becomes an issue and where you need to consult a medical professional. So serious symptoms will be dyspnea. Now, dyspnea is shortness of breath. So if you're struggling to catch your breath or you're having difficulty breathing, doing things that you would normally do, getting dressed, taking a shower, anything like that, that's quite a serious symptom. Then we will also have loss of speech or mobility or even confusion. So your mental state will be altered. So any change in mental state is a very serious symptom. Uh, chest pain is also a very serious symptom. And it is important that if you feel any of these serious symptoms, that you seek immediate medical attention. But you need to remember that before you go to any hospital or doctor, if you suspect that you have COVID, you do need to phone that facility in advance, just to let them know that someone is coming in who either has COVID or has suspected COVID. And that way they can prepare to prevent you from coming into contact with anyone else and spreading the virus. So remember to always phone before you do go. Now, I would also like to say that anyone who has mild symptoms who are otherwise healthy, they can easily manage them at home with over-the-counter medications or even phoning your doctor or your pharmacy and asking what to do. Generally, on average, it'll take about five to six days from when someone is infected to actually present with these symptoms. So for about a week, you could have COVID without having any symptoms and spreading it to other people, which is why this disease is spreading so fast. It's asymptomatic a lot of the time, which is a very big problem because if you don't have symptoms, and you don't have signs, how are you supposed to know you need to go get tested or you need to go to a doctor? And um, it, it can actually take up to 14 days for these symptoms to show. So it can take up to two weeks. So don't just think that because you don't have symptoms, but you've been in contact with a co someone who has COVID, that you don't have it. If you've been in contact with someone who has COVID, you need to get tested. So I'm going to wrap this short video up for the signs and the symptoms of COVID and I'm going to move on to the next one. I hope that this video helped you in some way, shape or form or it gave you a little bit of information that you were looking for. Thank you.